we're now live. We're going to try it again. We see people joining. I was explaining hair porosity so you know what kind of deep conditioner you want to, DIY deep conditioner you want to use. Okay, I'm getting some hearts, so I think we're good. So let's start over. We have diff three different types. You, we have three different types of hair porosity. We got high, low, and normal. High porosity means that your hair, the cuticle is open and your hair cannot hold on to moisture readily. Low porosity hair means that your hair will take a long time to absorb, to absorb moisture. So, and normal, well, of course it's normal. It, rain, it maintains moisture pretty uh, evenly. So the way to test your hair to figure out what hair you have, whether it's high, low, or medium porosity, is you pluck a strand, drop it in a glass of water. Hello. Um, drop it in a glass of water, and you watch it for a couple hours. So for high porosity hair, if you drop that hair into that glass of water and it quickly sinks to the bottom, that means you have high porosity hair. Therefore, your hair readily absorb readily absorb, absorbs moisture, but at the same time, moisture is pulled out really, really fast. Low porosity hair, which is what I have, that means when I plucked my hair out and put it on the glass of water and sat it there overnight, my hair never sunk to the bottom of the glass. So that means my hair takes a long time to absorb water, absorb more moisture, and um, it kind of makes you think like your hair has been scotch guarded. In other words, it's gonna get hair, it's gonna have a hard time for moisture to sink in, as well as you're gonna, um, it's, uh, you're gonna have a hard time maintaining that moisture because it's, it's, it's having a hard time getting in. Hey there, Dr. Puff Cuff, glad you tuned back in. Thanks, hon. Um, then the third kind is normal porosity. With normal porosity, your hair will sink to the bottom of that glass at a normal pace. So those are the lucky people who have um, the normal porosity hair. If you're anywhere in the four range, four hair, four type four range, type four A, B, C, most likely you uh, have low porosity hair, which is what I do, which is what I have. So what we're going to do is we're doing a, I'm going to give you um conditioning treatments based on all three types, but I'm only going to demo a deep conditioning, a DIY conditioning treatment on low porosity hair, and that's the one I'm going to do first, just so we make sure we have enough time. So for low porosity hair, um, what you want to do is, certain. there's certain products you also want to avoid. You want to avoid all products that have alcohol in them, um, hairsprays and things where alcohol is listed anywhere on the ingredients. So you, because alcohol, as you know, it's going to dry up and it's going to suck up all the moisture out of your hair that you have. So for the high, for the low porosity DIY treatment, we're going to use, yes, low porosity means avoid any products that have alcohol in it, especially with your hair gels, um, your mousses. You really, really, if you're go if you're natural, in other words, you're not chemically straightening your hair in any way in terms of keratin treatment or anything. You really, really, really want to pay, if you're a product junk, junkie, that is, you want to pay attention to what ingredients are listed on the back of um, the, the product bottle. If alcohol is anywhere near it, you anywhere in it, especially if it's mentioned a couple different times, you really want to try to avoid it. I myself have tried, I've pretty much avoided all um all over-the-counter products except for my brown eco gel which I will never give up um, everything else that I use is all natural from my kitchen sink under my I mean not kitchen sink kitchen pantry or I use a couple of um, there's a couple of different uh, ladies that have produced product lines which I really do love their products um, do you, I know I explain the lock method lock LOC method to me because I'm very I'm, I'm not as well versed on that, and I uh, once you explain it, then I can tell you if I use it or not. I might just not, I might do it, but don't know what the acronym is. Pay attention to your ingredients, try to avoid. Yes, yes, in any form, yes, that's very true. So for even mm, even citrulol alcohol, 
If it's alcohol, I would try to avoid it. I don't know what that particular one is. If you want to give a little bit more explanation about it to explain it, then um, I can, you know, try to give you my opinion on it. But like I said, liquid oil condition. Yeah, then I do do that. That's exactly what I'm getting ready to explain. So my hair, I did a condition wash it this morning, so it's still a little damp. I am going to, the, the conditioner that I'm going to use, um, no, 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 take, I'm sorry, just move the, um, the, uh, the laptop. The, kit, the conditioning method that I'm going to use is going to contain, contains grapeseed oil, avocado, I got an organic avocado because my sister is a stickler for using uh, ingredients that have not have that do not have GMO or pesticides or anything like that. So I try to be consciously aware of what the products that I pick and I try to use organic stuff. So I have grapeseed oil, an organic or avocado, organic honey, and we're going to mix all of those together. So what I do, one thing you don't want to do is mix it in a bowl. You definitely want to get your Ninja out or your food processor because you do not want big chunks of food or avocado or banana in your hair afterwards. And it will definitely leave that. So I'm going to flip the camera. See, there's my Nifty Ninja. And I'm going to have my husband go ahead and push the button. Uh-oh. No electricity. Hold on one second. <laughs> Yeah. Got it? Keep on going. Oh, Dr. Foco. Dr. Foco says she tried to do it one time using banana instead of avocado for the natural fats that are in banana. And she didn't, uh, she, um, Tried to whip it up instead of using a process, food processor and, and in our hair for about a month. So we're not going to do that. That's why I say definitely use a food processor. Oh, and can you give the ratios? Okay, for I, I'm sorry. I forgot to do that. For the, for the, what I use for this time, I use a quarter cup of grapeseed oil, a half of an avocado, and two heaping tablespoons of organic honey. And then I used a little bit of um, boiled water that I had. I didn't use water out of the tap because I wanted to make it. Yes, you can you can strain it, but if you if no food processor, try to use a blender of some kind. But I mean, it's an extra step, so I'm all about you know trying to get trying to speed it up and not get discouraged from even trying to do it to fit it into your schedule. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that mixture that I made up and what I usually do I'm not going to do it tonight is these little dawn or little squeeze bottle that you have from older products I will funnel that into here and then have it to squeeze squeeze yes grape seed oil so grape and like a mustard seed so it's grape seed so a quarter cup of grape seed oil two heaping tablespoons of high nat michelle two heaping, heaping tablespoons of organic honey and then i use a half of an avocado you can also if you want to throw a little yogurt 100 percent real organic yogurt in there uh you can try that too but what i was saying is i usually put it in a squeeze bottle because if i don't use it all i might save it and use it for salad dressing <laughs> just kidding but no you want to use this, and then after you use it, you can, if you don't use it all, you can store it in the fridge and try it again later on in the week. So we're going to take that Ninja, I mean the stuff that we've got in the Ninja. Baby, can you take the lid off of that for me and hand me that? This pops kind of pops off. There we go. <laughs> Don't try to twist the Ninja, the Ninja just kind of pops off the top. So then we've got, you can see we've got, you know, a nice mixture. Can you guys see that? Pretty good. Let me bring it up some. It's kind of the consistency of a loose conditioner. 
If you want to thicken it up some, I don't want to take the blades out. Don't want these hitting my scalp. So if you want to, yes, we are on YouTube also. What ends up happening is once we finish with these uh, periscopes, 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 we publish those to YouTube. So all of our periscopes are on YouTube also. So like this is what I was saying about it might be easier instead of trying to pour that out, I kind of funnel it, like I said, into a bottle like this. I don't have a funnel, and I know I don't want to make a mess, but, you know, imagine that there's a funnel there. Yes, yeah, same name. We are on, we are on um, Instagram, YouTube, Periscope, Twitter, Facebook, all under Puff Cup. Oh, catch me. Okay, I'll check that out. It saves all the periscopes. So, here we go, ladies. Actually, I'm going to have my husband help me out. Can you pour this in the top of my head for me, please? I'm going to scoot down a little bit. So, just pour it slow. Every now and then, I use a steamer. I, I, okay, here we go. I have a hard time. Ooh, it's flying. I have, and then put some in the back for me. I have a hard time finding time to sit down under a steamer. So I usually don't. I kind of let the natural body heat. Once you see what I'm doing, you kind of will understand. So I've got it kind of saturated in my hair. And it's a little loose, so it's kind of flying everywhere. But, um... Once I've got it all in, this is where we come in with the, the, the puff cuff. So, this is the product that we invented. This is the puff cuff for all of those who... I just purchased one. It's handheld. Oh, okay, the steamer. You probably purchased a Q-Redo. I have the sit-under steamer. Um, by Beautiful. And I love it when I get a chance to actually find the time to sit under it. Well, if you have low porosity hair, body heat isn't really effective. Well, I, you know what? I keep mine on at night, and because I'm perimenopausal, I have plenty of body heat. So, but you can do whatever fits you best. So if you have a steamer, you definitely can use it. So what I do is I pineapple it up with the, the puff cuff. And the thing that's good is this is not going to hold on to any of the product. So I'll pineapple it up. And then when I'm done and I take this out, it's not like a headband where I have to, you know, pretty much toss it. I just rinse my puff cuff under the water and it's ready to go. So next I do in order to make, to get more of the heat, in my hair. I mean, get more of the heat without having to actually have a steamer. And this is what I mean about using my own natural body heat. I take a uh, plastic cap. You know, you go to the beauty supply store and you get a hundred of them for five dollars. Put that on. And then this is our, thank you. Are you the creator of Puff Cuff? Yes, I am the creator of Puff Cuff. This is our t-shirt turban. So this is our upcycled t-shirt turban. And what I do, it's kind of shaped kind of like a half moon. Can you guys see it okay? So I'll take this. The t-shirt turban is available on our website. The website is the, depending on where you're from, the or the, puffcuff.com. So it's T-H-E, T as in Tom, P-U-F-F. C-U-F-F dot com. The Puff Cuff itself retails for $14.99, I'm sorry. And then the T-shirt turban, I think it retails for $23.99. Yes, that's the Puff Cuff. So, with the T-shirt turban, there's a little piece of elastic in the back. So once you twist it, twist it around your hair, you take the little piece of elastic and kind of pull the tail through so it doesn't move. So this, now I've got my own personal steamer 
Will y'all be at Afrolicious? No, I'm sorry, we won't be there in, at um, Afrolicious in Houston. But um, we would love to be there. But all of our all of our um, products are available on the website. We do free shipping. International shipping is flat rate five ninety nine. And um, the other thing that we're doing is we uh, Earth Day is coming up in a couple days, I think, or next week. Will you be attending the World Natural Health Show? No, we won't be at the World Natural Health Show either, but we will be at the Ultimate Women's Expo in Atlanta um, the weekend of May 14th and 15th. So with the t-shirt turban, I have my plastic cap on, and with the plastic cap, it's already going to be generating, it's going to keep my own body heat underneath here, as well as the t-shirt turban is insulating this. And what I was saying is for Earth Day, we are offering, I believe it's 20 or 25% off the t-shirt turban. So the thing is, why we made the turban out of t -shirt, recycled t-shirt material instead of terry cloth is because the terry cloth, when you use a terry cloth towel to dry your... Um, to dry your hair, your curls, it puts too much fric friction on it and causes knots and causes split ends. So with the t-shirt turban, it doesn't have all the, uh, it do since it's a smooth material and it's still cotton, it'll absorb your water, but it will not cause friction on your hair. So back to, I'm gonna go back to my notes, back to um, the different conditioners for the porosity hair. If you have high porosity hair, this means that your strand of hair will sink to the bottom of that cup of water uh, very quickly. That means your cuticle stands open, and that means that you want to get your hair to a point where not only does it absorb moisture fast, which it will, but it also will retain the moisture. So the treatment that we found that was good for that, for high porosity hair, you want to do a protein treatment rather than a disc deep conditioning treatment. A lot of high porosity, people with high porosity hair means that your, your, your hair is lacking protein. So a protein tri treatment, like I said, is different than a deep conditioning treatment. So the protein pre treatment that we recommend is two eggs, organic honey, almond oil, and mayonnaise. And then you would do exactly the same thing I'm doing. Pine pineapple it, put it on, use your Ninja, whip it up, put it on your hair, put your plastic cap on, then put your, uh, nope, we forgot. Put it, pineapple your hair first in the puff cuff, then put your plastic cap on, then put your t-shirt turban on to give yourself a little heat, unless you were going to go ahead and sit under the, the uh, hair dryer to give yourself more heat. But this will, this to me, it does just fine. You're gonna have this on for 20 to 30 minutes for high porosity hair. How often would you do a protein tre treatment for high porosity hair? I would say give yourself maybe a week or two in between and see how your hair reacts to it. Yes, I've seen great improvement. Yes, see, and lots less shedding. That's very true. It's, it's easier and it's manageable and you don't hear yourself combing or going through your hair because your cuticle is now more smooth and laid down. But what I was gonna say is, after you do that protein treatment, you wanna finish up with the apple cider rinse. Apple cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar or aloe vera juice rinse. And that will seal that cuticle down. So, and oh, I also, I should mention too, once you do this food treatment or organic food treatment in your hair, you want to lightly wash that out. You don't want to, you know, scrub your hair with some, um, uh, you want to use a more like a conditioning shampoo. Don't use a shampoo that's going to strip it all out. So use a conditioning shampoo. Yes. Uh, yes, it will seal the cuticle. So use a conditioning shampoo to rinse the food out of your hair because you don't want it being, you don't want it staying in there and getting funky and molding. It's just a treatment. It's not a leave-in. That's the difference. So the protein treatment that I just said for high porosity hair, two eggs, probably like two teaspoons, two tablespoons, I'm sorry, of organic honey. How often do you do these treatments? I tell you the truth, I'll probably do it about once a month, but I've been doing it enough now that I don't have to do it as often. Um, 
But when I regularly do a deep, con if I don't do a DIY where I've actually made my own conditioner, my favorite conditioner is Trader Joe's Spa Treatment. Can you guys see that? This is the absolute, for 4C hair, which is what I have, I'm like in between 4B and 4C, but it's Trader Joe's. It's only like three bucks, $3.49, $3.49. You can only get it at Trader Joe's, but it's called the Spa Treatment. They also have a tea tree um, version. I don't really like that as much because it doesn't leave my hair as soft, but they also have a, um, a shampoo that goes with this, a conditioning shampoo. So like I said, if you don't have the time or you don't have the ingredients, go pick yourself up about three or four bottles of this, keep it under the sink. And this is what I do my co-wash with also. Do you recommend, what do you recommend for breaking 4C hair? Same thing, you gotta get that, that you gotta get a good cut. Make sure you get a really good cut on your hair and deep condition. I think as younger ladies, we were so afraid of having too much grease in our hair or once we got out from having our hair um, uh, press and curled that for some reason we shied away from creams and grease and and, um, and uh, oils and things. I have learned with my natural hair, I have got to keep it moisturized and sealed with different oils. I love jojoba oil, I love avocado oil. Olive oil doesn't react as well with my hair, but it doesn't mean that it won't react good with your hair. Coconut oil, it is a good for it. That is very, very good for high for uh, high porosity hair. Um, some people just do straight coconut oil rinses in their hair and then seal it with the apple cider vinegar. But um, for those who have high porosity hair, they I've found that they really do like the coconut oil. Coconut oil doesn't work very well for low porosity hair. Or it doesn't work very well for my hair. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go, I gave you the high porosity formula, gave you the low porosity formula. For those of you lucky ladies who have normal porosity hair, you um, can just use, no, we will not be at the Afrolicious Hair Expo in June. I'm sorry, we will not be there. Um, the DIY conditioner for you is just simply whip up some or, uh, olive oil and organic honey. Do the same thing, let it sit on your hair for 20 to 30 minutes, same process as this, put it on, pineapple it up, oh, you're welcome, uh, pineapple it up, puff cuff it, put your plastic cap on, your t-shirt turban, and sit it on there for 20 to 30 minutes. Actually, I start doing some housework <laughs> or paint my nails or something like that when I do my deep conditioner. So we are, it is eight o'clock. I'm sorry for all of the um, digital issues or whatever we were having in the very beginning, but just wanted to um, open for any more questions before we sign off and to remind you that if you're interested in the t-shirt turban, now the, the colors, will, colors uh, will vary because like we said, they're made out of up upcycled t-shirt material, trying to keep it out of the landfills and do our part and make it a usable um, product. Uh, for Earth Day, 20% off, or 20 or 25% off, no code needed, and um, I think that's about it. We're going to sign off. You guys have a great day. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Watch on Facebook tomorrow because I will be posting a picture of my hair after this stuff comes out, and I'll give you my honest opinion on how I feel about this particular uh DIY conditioner. I've used it before minus the chunks of avocado. Usually I just use uh, avocado oil. So I will be doing that for you guys tomorrow. Love and kisses. Stay blessed. Take care. Bye-bye.